the hole has been one of the sore spots, no matter how far away you are from the hole and the crawling around on your knees and the whole nine, um, you being an, a, a fundamentalist, you're going to believe, but <clears throat> enough is enough. And so can you tell us how bad the torture, how bad the prison, how bad was this hole and maybe how you got out? Well, it was pretty damn bad. <laughs> uh, you know, I equate it to like the Lord of the Flies. It was a an environment where Scientology executives had been locked up in these two double wide trailers. The windows were screwed so shut so that they only opened an inch and nobody could get out of them. The all three doors were barred except one front entrance which had a 24 hour a day security guard posted nobody was allowed to leave nobody was allowed to leave there were no showers you ate slept worked fought beat one another up all in the same place you know i slept under a table or a desk uh same place the desk where i ate my the slop that they brought up that was left over from the main crew food the same place that we would sit and uh, try and beat confessions out of other people. And it was a dog-eat-dog -dog world. Like I said, Lord of the Flies. The idea being you, everybody who was in there was some incorrigible criminal in the eyes of David Miscavige and had been confined to this hole that the only way out was to confess your sins, that a big plus for anybody that was in there was getting other people to confess their sins and so it devolved into physical abuse of people to try and force them to admit to things that probably they'd never even did but the 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 more salacious the admission the better it was for the person who managed to force the admission out of them so you have uh, enormous uh, amounts of, of things that people have in their own handwriting that were in the hole, admitting to the most outrageous crimes. I mean, Scientology pulls these out all the time. Anybody that was there who is now speaking out, Scientology comes out and says, oh, yes, you can see in his own handwriting, Mike Rinder admits to having lied repeatedly. He lied, lied, lied. Uh, Amy Scobie admits to having blah, blah, blah. Tom DeVock admits to having blah, blah, blah. Mark Headley admits blah, blah, blah. These forced confessions uh, are, are no better than the you know POW videos from North Korea. They are what you feel you end up having to do in order to somehow get yourself out of this nightmare that you have found yourself in. In addition to this, there is this kind of uh, pervasive thing in the C organization, which I talk about quite a lot, of sleep deprivation and also nutritional deprivation. And, you know, many, many, many people have commented about the video of me with John Sweeney in London when he is asking me about David Miscavige physically assaulting me and how terrible I looked. Like, I looked like I'd just come out of Auschwitz. Well, I had come out of the Scientology prison camp. And how did I manage to escape? Is because I was the only person that Miscavige, even though I was in the hole, I was like this weird person who would get pulled out to go and do things. So if the Today Show called and needed someone to come and talk about Scientology, I would get taken out of the hole, escorted on a plane, and go be interviewed by Katie Couric on the Today Show, and then get escorted back onto a plane to go back to the hole. And I was taken out of the hole to go to London to deal with John Sweeney from the BBC, and that's where I escaped from. That is how I got out of the hole. It's not easy. I don't know of anybody that actually escaped from the hole itself because, like I said, 
There was no doors except the front door with a security guard 24-7 on a property that had cameras all over the place, high fences with barbed wire or razor wire on the top of them, on a highway that is in the middle of nowhere in, in Southern California. Can so, that hole still be active right now? I doubt it. I, I think that after going clear, they probably shut that motherfucker down. Like, you know, <laughs> what if someone actually comes and busts in and finds that this really is what, like right. the depiction in going clear really is how it's like. I mean, that would be, that would be kind of catastrophic. So they probably come up with some other means of keeping those people off balance. But you talk about the humiliation and this was yeah. a specialty and is a specialty of David Miscavige, humiliating people.